Howdy everyone, I'm Joshua Schultz, Tyler Waldrop, Stealth Art. We're here at Treadwell Coffee, and make sure you tune in to Good Morning Aurora. Rise and shine, pour yourself a cup of coffee, and tune in to Good Morning Aurora. News, weather, and really cool interviews. Monday through Friday from 8 to 9 a.m. Good morning, Aurora. Good morning, Aurora. Good morning, Aurora. The time is 8 a.m. You are listening to Good Morning Aurora, the second largest city's first daily news podcast. It is Tuesday, January 12th, 2021. Good morning to y'all. Good morning. So things to talk about before we get into today's great interview. I think you're good. I think you guys are going to like this one. I know you're going to like it. So uh, get ready to uh, peep something brand new. And uh, we got a good one today. We got a good one going on. All right. Uh, the 23rd until the 22nd, or January 23rd until May 22nd, the Art and Market Aurora, uh, gathering of vendors and artisans happening every uh, second and fourth Saturday at Society 57. Safe, fun, and uh, socially distanced shopping. Come on out and check that out. Uh, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Nice, fine stores. Uh, Mondays now are for seniors and veterans at nice, fine stores. And uh, go there, get your shopping on, new shopping experience. And the address, let me look up the address for you guys uh, and see where they're located. I think that's Farnsworth. Yes, 1014 North Farnsworth Avenue. So that's nice find. Uh, shout out to them. New business opened up and doing great things. All right. Uh, we told you guys about the Aurora Public Library uh, breakdown of all the stuff that's going on through this month, January. It's all starting uh, Wednesday. So tomorrow, the citizenship and recent updates will be beginning that. Road Relief Chicago Land registration is required for that. It's going to be talking about the process and updates due to COVID nineteen. That's at six p.m. Tune in to that. Go to the Aurora Public Library's Facebook page and their website. And there, well, you have to register first. After you register, that's where it will be taking place at. The Aurora Area CVB Convention and Visitors Bureau. Thrilled to announce the Aurora Country Club is hosting the ninety fourth annual Women's Western Junior Golf Tournament one of the oldest junior tournaments in the United States. Uh, by June, tourism officials at the Aurora Area CVB are cautiously optimistic that the event will go ahead, potentially with spectators. Shouts go out to our friends at the Aurora Area CVB. And uh, this is gonna be some good stuff. So hopefully that goes off without a hitch uh, and is safe and socially distanced and fun. All right. Uh, now, coming up as well, don't forget that the uh, Aurora Housing Authority has the online vouchers going on now. Uh, that's only until Friday, so it's a very short window. Please check it out. We have posted that on our Facebook page and also uh, on our Twitter, so please go check out that information. Also, want to let you guys know, if you go to our uh, website, Good Morning Aurora IL or excuse me, goodmorningaurora.com. Um, if you go to our page, check out the episodes tab, you will see all of our episodes before we were doing videos. So it's a good way to brush up on who we are. We are the second largest city's first daily news podcast. And May 11th of this year will be our one year anniversary. So our birthday is coming up as a show. Shout out to all of our fans, listeners, and subscribers. And thank you and shout out to our recent subscribers on our YouTube page, Mike, Cindy, and Jolie, and I think Frederick was his name? Okay, I'll check that out and double check that for you guys. Uh, shout out to another friend of the show, Jeanette uh, Oswego. Shout out to Oswego and everything. Jeanette will be in touch. Man, we got so many fans and so many friends out there. Friends, 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 squad goals. Shout out. All right. Don't forget that uh, Tuesday, February 16th, Growing Your Business with LGBTQ Friendly Practices, part of the Fairness and Equality for, the, for a Better Aurora series. It's in conjunction with the Aurora Human Relations Commission. Registration is required for that. Friday of last week, we were in the studio with our friend Alex Arroyo, um, School Board 131, District 131, and he's also running for Aurora Township Supervisor. So, shouts out to him. And get to know what Aurora Township does. Uh, the elections are coming up. Primaries are next month. April 6th is the um, election. 
We also interviewed Bonnie Kunkel, and we've got another special guest coming up running for township. I'm not going to say who that is, but we got the interview. We secured it, and that's coming to you on the second largest city's first daily news podcast. Shout out to Tracy Duran, a uh, friend of the show, always keeping us laced with the Aurora history. And want to say shout out to some of the new businesses that have just become staples here in Aurora. 48 new businesses, I think, were launched. So shout out to all those businesses who are just getting started. We wish them much success in 2021. We hope that you guys are all doing nice and having a great positive day today in 2021. It is Tuesday the 12th. Let's do this and let's make this a very safe, positive, and wonderful day. And that is the news. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good to have you guys. Uh, it's Monday, the 11th. So we're starting off the week uh, very strong, you know, on, on a business perspective and everything. Uh, for those who don't know, let us know who you are. Um, my name is Karina Suarez Darden, and we own Presidential Cleaning Services and Roadside Services. I'm Darnell Darden. Yeah. Uh, I'm the CEO of both. And she's also half the CEO also. So we love when we have our team business perspective going into the day. So we're glad to meet you guys. Thank Thanks you. for sitting down with us. Oh, thank, thank you, you for the invitation. All right. Uh, now, where are you guys from? Um, well, I was born and raised in Bolivia, South America. Okay. And I came here to the United States when I was 16 years old. Okay. And um, I was raised by my grandmother. And um, my mom, as a many immigrants, um, she had to come here to uh, give me a better life. She, she worked hard and I couldn't see here for 12 years. Mm -hmm. So it was very tough, um, but um, I think it was worth it because um, I was able to come here, um, also go to college. Mm -hmm. um, well, by the way, I. I graduated uh, from East Aurora High School, so I'm, I'm a Tomcat. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so very proud of that. And um, and later on, I went to I went to college, Wabansi Community College. Uh, I was pursuing uh, um, to be a teacher, and um, and and then I changed major uh, to business. <laughs> And I ended up <laughs> going to um, to get my degree in liberal arts, uh, focus on psychology. Very cool. And Darnell, where are you from? I'm from Aurora. Uh, I uh, grew up in Aurora as a kid on um, the east side. Um, okay. Not too far, right over the bridge. Uh, and then um, during middle school, my parents felt like I would have uh, been involved in some things, mm -hmm. you know, negative, negative, negative stuff around town. So they moved us to Oswego. Okay. And I finished school, high school there, graduated high school. Then um, I got into co I got into college, went to college for electrical engineer. Um, did but I didn't finish okay. college. So right before I was about to finish, I uh, I quit going and. Uh, I started working even you know even more. I worked mm -hmm. two jobs, so you know day and night, and also at the same time I was going to school right. with, with the two jobs. But instead, I, I I I quit going to school. Then I just started working the jobs to make more money and take care of myself, working overtime, all that. I was into warehousing for a little for a while. Then from warehousing, I went to uh, factories. You know, normal. Mm -hmm. Okay, normal so thing. um, so real quick, so we got a Tomcat and an hey, Oswego a Panther. A yeah, Panther. Panther. Yeah. A Tomcat and a Panther. We, we, we fight all, all right. the time. About <laughs> so, it's yeah. it's yeah. so it's that one. So it's just predatory animals it's predatory at home. Predatory animals. <laughs> now our daughters are like, oh, uh, I want to yeah. be a Tomcat. Oswego Panther. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 So, um, <laughs> what are some changes? So you've been in the Aurora area, and you have too. We've been here for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, what's some of the biggest changes you guys have seen in the area in the time you've been here? Uh, Karina, we'll start with you. Um, I think now it's a little bit different, especially for minorities mm -hmm. like us. Um, I believe that there are some um, more opportunities. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember when I first moved here, and I have to share this, um, even there was a lot of um, Hispanic community already, mm -hmm. 
I believe that um, a lot of times we're not proud of what we were already, which means um, a lot of time people didn't even want to speak Spanish, even, you know, they, they know the language. Right. So they were kind of embarrassed uh, for that reason. I'm seeing in District 131, uh, now everything is dual language. Right. So even my little one who is um, eight years old, um, now she, even she understands Spanish, but for some reason, um, she um, wanted to talk the language, she wanted to speak the language because, mm -hmm. um, you know, at, at her school, at her class, they are pushing her to do that. That way, when they graduate, they have the dual language certificate, which right. is great. Right. You know, like bilingual. Big, uh, big step. Big yeah. step. Yeah. So I'm seeing that the friends, um, like I said, going back with the businesses, uh, I think, I believe that um, we have more opportunities mm -hmm. uh, for uh, minorities again, and uh, um, with different grants, uh, different uh, trainings, um, through different nonprofit organizations, mm -hmm. which is a big step. Right. I mean, um, since you know, um, I met Darnell, he always had this vision to have um, a business, and um, and to be honest, I never thought about it. I was just, but without realizing, I was always um, around or working with people who own businesses because I mean, it's how we are, right? I mean, right. we connect with people and. Um, and I believe it's 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 a big change, you know. Since that's good. That's a that's a that's a good step and a good thing to identify as something that's changed. Um, Darnell, what's one uh, what's a big change that you've seen in Aurora since uh, in your little bit of time? Honestly, uh, it's changed a lot, man. It's, the, the community has changed so much. Like right? mm -hmm. as far as all the you know development going on, buildings and. Remodifications, mm -hmm. um, like she said, opportunity out here. Different. There's plenty of businesses being right. being uh, uh, started. So it's like it's wonderful to see our city just growing and 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 they're allowing everybody to have that same opportunity. It's like not right. you know it's not a uh, focus on certain area or nothing like mm -hmm. that. Certain people. It's for everybody. It's out here. You just have to do. You have to come out and be willing to do it. Take part. Take part in your. Um, what is Aurora's biggest strength? I believe there are people. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. I would not disagree with you. Uh, a lot of times when I ask this question, people say the the same thing. It's the uh, it's the diversity. Yes. And the different kinds of people yeah. that you find yeah. all around. You know, I think that's a good thing. It's definitely that's a good right. thing. Yeah. Um, so, being from Bolivia uh, early on in life, are there any similarities between what we strive for or what a person would strive for in Bolivia and in, in America? Definitely. Mm -hmm. um, so, in my family, I have entrepreneurs as well. Okay. My grandma used to own um, a little coffee shop mm -hmm. in house, and um, she used to make empanadas to sell coffee. Really? Yes. Empanadas? Yeah, yeah. cheese empanadas, chicken empanadas. Can I get one? Like <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. um, and uh, different pastries. So. Um, so that was one of the business that I grew up seeing her, you know, uh, being an entrepreneur. So, and also my uncle. My uncle used to have, um, how do you call it, a um, uh, fridge, um, what uh, they- Appliances? Not appliances, uh, when you sell meat and, and um, like the, it's not a like supermarket. The, but it was like- A meat shop? Yes, meat like a meat oh, shop. shop. Yes, okay, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. So it, he had it that for a few years but and then he went to the business um, pharmacy so he was getting different um, medications and um, he was working as a distributor uh, for many pharmacies around 
our city. So I think um, the similarities between Bolivia and here is um, we have people that really want to get into the business and um, different businesses but at the same time um, trying to better their life you know okay. and um, striving for, for a better uh, and, uh, I mean I didn't make sure I'll cut you off no no, no. Uh, we're gonna talk specifically about presidential uh, cleaning services too because I'm really interested in the dynamics of starting up a business and what that aspect is like and you know I, I really want people to take that business dedication away from this conversation uh, do you guys think that it's easy to start a business would you say in your experience I wouldn't necessarily I would say it is but it's a it's a mind thing also. It's more a mind thing. So what do you mean by a mind thing? <laughs> <laughs> because please elaborate. <laughs> because actually, like I tell her all the time, we beat ourselves sometimes thinking so hard that if we can't do it, then you already made your mind up. It's not it's 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 not gonna be done. Hmm. So some people we have we have a lot of people who are willing to start a business but their mind is telling them it's too hard or it's gonna cost too much money and right there you already made your decision that I can't do it interesting interesting so the business part is easy to do but it's also easy not to do when you were young did you ever think that you'd have your own business actually no I did not when you were young did you ever think you'd have your own business no Never, even, you know, I see my family having their own businesses. I never thought of myself having my own business. What's one thing that people need to know or think about when they're starting a business? You need to, you, need to, you have to know that you're going to go through all the trials and tribulations of business, period. So, man, you're going to go through failure. It's not going to work sometimes. And you just got to keep striving and keep going. You can't can't give up just because uh, just like now we go, we're going through a crisis in the whole you know world right now right for a lot of people they didn't they, they, they're not making it through it because you know it's this is a, this is one of those bumps in the road for business sure. I mean everyone's going through the same thing so it's it's not like it's focused on certain uh, industries or any, nothing like that it's just that it's a bad time in the world, but if you, it, it, you can make it still, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like us, honestly, we actually picked up more business from after this uh, virus came, you know, this Correct. situation going on. We picked up, because people wanted clean, they were, we were all panicking, you know what I mean? They wanted more cleaning, more sanitizing, mm -hmm. more deep, um, uh, more, 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 every, more, more, everything to be you know nice and clean so yeah. they were calling safe and, and uh, safe, you know yeah, hazard free hazard free not all that yeah. so it came it yeah. came for us well and we I received mean, the training mm -hmm. to um it made it made us take our business up to the next level of getting trained and certified what kind of what kind of training it's was the it? covid night oh, okay. the, the, yeah, sanitation, the sanitation. Ah, because okay. people cool. won't hire you oh if businesses. you don't have that if you don't have that, so they don't just want anyone cleaning. Right. You know, it's a new know. era of cleaning. It's we have new, to step it up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was your first job? My first job was um, at Meyer store in Geneva, mm -hmm. and I used to be a bagger. So I used to bag all the stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, I receive a training, mm -hmm. everything. So it's <laughs> paper or plastic. <laughs> right, 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 right. So it was very interesting because my mom took me all the way to Geneva um, because um, she thought that if I would be around more English speakers people I will pick up the language faster mm -hmm. so which it was fine but it was very hard okay. because I didn't know any English when I came at 16 mm -hmm. 
So in working with more teenagers, right. they were of course using slang and not even good <laughs> English. Making, like, making fun I'm of I'm trying me. to learn English. <laughs> He's not even speaking it. Because <laughs> <laughs> of course they were trying to communicate with me, but sure. you know, I got, I did understand mm -hmm. a word. <laughs> Darnell, what was your first job? That's funny, uh I was also I, I worked at Jewel Osco. And I was a bagger, cashier. Yeah. A stalker. Oh. My first legal job, like, and by legal, I don't mean like that. <laughs> I mean like, you know, mowing lawn. You know what I'm talking right. about. Working legal. for my dad's friend who was paying me just right. My first right. like actual job on the books. I worked at the Jewel. For those out in Chicago, Blue Island stand up, 135th and Western. Wow. I worked at that Jewel, and uh, I was pushing carts. I meant to And I did I that for like four, I did that, that for like two days and I was like, you know what? Oh, now nah, 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 <laughs> cashier. <laughs> yes. Cashier. I you know what? I was going to mention that and I respect all the kids of you know oh, yeah. they, they Still work, to you this know, day. Oh yeah. Ooh, and yeah. I keep telling my daughters, you mm -hmm. know, I have a four we have a fourteen year old and an eight year old. I said I used to do this. Yeah. So every time when you know you're done shopping I always you take have, it. Put, yes. Put it back. Yeah. You have to put the car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we understand. Because you know what? I used to do yeah, that. Right. So yeah. it was hard to go, you know, everywhere oh, yeah. and try to grab all the cars. Yeah, you were walking to like, yeah. if you're going on a, a quest yes. to get a cart. <laughs> yes. All the way, like a mile away. Especially during the winter time. Oh, it's not man. fun. Because right. <laughs> <No, sorry. laughs> the wheels don't have treads. They don't. Yes. It's like hard plastic. <laughs> yes. Um, so, and uh, for those who don't know, Bolivia is where the Andes Mountains are. Yes. Um, it's a nice country. I haven't been there yet, but I'm gonna go. I see it. It looks very nice, very pretty. Um, you should go with us. Okay. We'll let you when know. Yeah, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> right there on the camera. After, after this right, pandemic, yeah. we need to yeah. go. <laughs> um, I'm interested, and I've met a few people who are part of the Aurora fabric from all different backgrounds, uh, especially people from overseas. You already said that there's a connection between people who live in Bolivia and the Americans in regards to being motivated, hustling, and trying to, uh, you know, always step up and do better. Mm -hmm. When we look at the current state of business in America, what can the American system learn from the Bolivia system, if anything? Um, or is there no comparison? To be honest, um, it's different mm -hmm. um, and the sister, like my sister, the one who is here right now, she had it to, uh, Claudia, she had it to um, come here temporarily because right now her industry, she worked in the industry of uh, travel. Mm -hmm. So um, she used to manage an office, mm -hmm. one of the biggest one in Santa Cruz where um, I used to live. Right. And, um, and right now it's, I mean, slow. very slow, very right. slow. I mean, here is kind of slow, but it's, I mean, we haven't stopped the whole country. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. There, they're very, they're more cautious. Right. I want to put it that way. They're more cautious. And probably because, you know, hospitals, I mean, they don't have that capacity like we, we have in here, mm -hmm. you know? So, um, I want to say um, it, it, it's different. Okay. It's different. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, now, before we move on to presidential cleaning and its history and everything like that, uh, I want to get a sense from you guys. You guys also take part in the community as well. Is that correct? Yes. Correct. All right. Um, now, you have worked for District 131. For more than a decade. For yeah. more than a decade. Um, and what have you been doing for the district? Um, first of all, I, <laughs> <laughs> I started working as a teacher assistant for the okay. preschool program. And also I worked for um, District 129 okay. for a year as a teacher assistant. After that, I moved um, to the um, community department, which is uh, parent liaison. I used to be as a social worker. Parent liaison, okay. So working as um, with parents, teachers, in community, Con trying to connect all the parents to all the resources that we have here in Aurora. Mm -hmm. And um, so I did that and um, 
after that, when I moved to another job, I, um, I start volunteering because I'm so passionate about education. Mm -hmm. uh, while I was working as a parent liaison, um, I were, I mean, in the same district, I start teaching English classes for parents that um, didn't know English. But also, I have this community of parents that said, hey, what about us? We need to learn Spanish as well. Mm -hmm. So I start my group in Spanish as well. Good. So, um, because at the school that I used to work at, at Allen School in France, um, that school is, it has a big diversity. It's one of the schools that I have, I can't remember how many uh, different countries, um, you know, families that are coming from different countries we have there. Mm -hmm. So, um, so after I was done with District 131, I felt like I was done, but I wasn't done. So uh, since my girls were still in the district, um, I decided to volunteer um, with the parents. And since I feel like they're still my family, mm -hmm. and I'm the vice president for the Bilingual Parent Association, and uh, which we empower all the parents, especially Hispanic parents, parents that um, they feel that the education here uh, it's totally different than their home country mm -hmm. and the meaning is because they feel like since they're not from here um, we have to let everything for the teachers and and our kids to do it themselves right. so we have that mentality mm -hmm. which we have been trying to change that we keep telling parents that they need to be involved. Correct. Hundred percent. They need to be involved. That way, their kids finish school, graduate, and after that, they can go to college. Okay. But since there is no um, knowing of that meaning, the the process, uh, they just get lost in the middle of the transition from high school. Mm -hmm to college. What was the coolest thing about being a parent liaison? Help. Help people. Help people. Oh, that's my passion. Helping people? Helping people. Yeah. Well, you helped me already because this coffee is like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got Duncan curing. I'm like stepping it up. Really good in here. This is a fresh um, And the Bilingual Parent Association, that still continues? It still continues, yes. Okay. How can people get involved to find out about that? <clears throat> um, so if you have a child, mm -hmm. District 131, anybody, even if you don't speak English, you can still <clears throat> belong to the group okay. and right now every time we have meetings through zoom because of the pandemic I mean more than 100 people get connected when are the wow. meetings what was that when is the uh, meetings? Uh, the meetings it's usually once a month but it varies depends on because we have different speakers okay so and it's all on zoom is this a Facebook on page no it's on zoom and since mm -hmm. if you this have if you have if you have a child in district 131 um, usually they post it on the um, school website. Oh, okay, so if you need information on it, you can go to like d131.org. Exactly. Yes. And then, and then oh, then you okay. Can get connected. I got yes. you. Girl. I got you. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Um, now, take me back. Let's 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 jump in our time machine. When did presidential cleaning start? Started. Uh, Started as a dream. Man, man. <laughs> March of 2019. Oh, okay. March of 2019. March of 2019. Officially. Official. Officially. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, the start of presidential cleaning. What was that like and what was it before, if anything? Uh, before, it was just a, you know, a vision. We me and her talking. Cause she has friends that are involved in cleaning, and okay. you know we were ta we were talk with them, and they would tell us, you know, how like the money that was involved, the uh, and then the people that they would deal with, the commercial side mm -hmm. and the residential side, and you know we just you know we talked about it, but then we kind of got a little serious about it, mm. you know that was our we just made a plan, yeah, and uh, we just went you know just. 
tried it out, went for it. Nice. And then, you know, like I said, we thought, we figured it out, what we were going to do, how we were going to do it, wrote it, wrote it down, mm -hmm. then we just, you know, started. Launched it. Launched it. Um, now, it started in March 2019. Mm -hmm. Now, do you guys do residential or commercial or both? Both. both. Okay, both. all right. Um, now, what's, what's it like with the services that you guys provide? Um, you know, just traditionally, even before COVID, um, do you guys meet clients or do clients contact you when you go to locations or what's it like? It's a little of both. Um, sometimes it's a lot of word of mouth. Okay. Also, so we clean for one, one person or whatever. Then that person, uh, let someone else know mm -hmm. and they'll contact us and, and next thing you know, it is just, just rolling. Right. But it all started too. That was the thing, that was the hard part is getting the clientele. We had to go out there and get them. You know, ha yeah, get it. We had to <laughs> yeah. pass off flyers, put flyers up, get pass off cards, mm -hmm. call, cold calling, everything, you know, just yeah. to get your clientele to where you're making money out of this business, you know. Right. So. Um, now, where do you guys, what's your location of cleaning? All Aurora area? Oh, we do all the rural area. We even go as far as, you know, Sugar Grove, Bolingbrook, Bolingbrook, Ohio. Ever. We're everywhere. New okay. Tapian, St. Charles. Yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. Okay. And you guys in Elgin? Okay. You guys are out. out. <laughs> We're out, man. <laughs> um, now, starting in 2019, and here we are in 2021, um, when you're going out and doing your thing with the cleaning, um, how long? Are you doing it? Like, what's the service like? What are the what are the levels of the service that you guys provide? It depends. Uh, if it's of course, if it's residential, um, we usually take our time and we tell our employees to take their time. I don't want to see any rushing. Right. I don't want to see um, you know um, employees looking at their times. I just want them to do a good job. Okay. That way, our clients can call us back, we we'll set up um, maybe twice a month cleaning mm -hmm. type of thing, uh, or weekly. Um, so we usually, it depends how big is the house, but on residential, right. it's, we take maybe uh, three hours at least for two or three rooms um, house or um, it depends how big the house is. You gotta do some big houses. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm talking about I'm thinking about the little areas you mentioned. Like yes. You got some you got yes. some whammers out there. Yes. Oh, you Ten oh, rooms. Right. <laughs> oh, they got horses and shit. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So I mean when it's like that, of course, we have to take more people with us. Yeah. And but I usually um I usually try to do it myself mm -hmm. because I want my employees to see that I'm involved too. Yeah, she's involved, involved. Without giving away who the client was, who had the nastiest house that you've ever cleaned? Or just tell me about it, you know what? <laughs> oh man. We had, you already got one, don't you? Yes. We had, we had one lady, man. She had pots and pans every she didn't like she didn't pick up anything. It was grease on the floor. We're sliding. <laughs> Wow. The, the carpet was horrible. She just needed to replace that. Right. It was just nasty. And she wow. was like, she wanted to clean, man. Walls were marked up nasty. Food and everything everywhere. Wow. Sick. Sick. I see some of those shows, like Hoarders. Hoarders. <laughs> you know where I was going with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know where you're going. And I've seen some of those shows, and like, they found, like, the lady's cat died a year ago and it's still and it's under the oh, couch still yeah. and then you see some of the other shows like some of the continuations on some of the specials like will the the house to be cleaned up or whatever the case may be that's right. a lot of that's work. a lot holy cow it's a lot of work yeah so I've, I've seen just a little bit of some of the cleaning not, not that not you guys's work but i've seen some of like the cleaning process involved in really bad homes yeah. and it is fascinating it's, like, holy it's cow. amazing what yeah. you can do when you Man, it's, it makes a big difference. Cleaning <laughs> yeah. makes a big difference. What do you feel like, how do you feel when you guys walk into like a dirty job and then at the end it's like, bling, what, what, you know, man, feel good? feel great. Yeah. Like, we did our part, you know, mm -hmm. so it's, I don't know, it's, it, uh, it, it makes me feel great. Who was your first customer? 
Man. Who was the first person to call presidential cleaning services? Like, I need it done. You know what? The a client we're still working with now. Uh, the uh, don't have to give away. You right. Know, no client. It's a it's a, <laughs> it's a commercial building. Okay. It, yeah, they they contacted us and uh, hey, we we want you. Give us the opportunity. Give us the opportunity to, or give us the. Your it's business. a good feeling, isn't it? Oh, it's great. I love it. I bet it is. I bet it is. I bet it probably feels like how it feels for me when like some people who've been listening since day one, like, yo, good interview. Like, man, don't listen you like listen. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Hold it down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm I'm interested in the logo. Okay. Um, how did that logo come about? Where did it come from? Who created it? Uh I created it. Okay. Um, I had a, a, a guy help me who does like web design. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I thought of, you know, the whole everything about it. Uh, I'm into, uh, I kind of I kind of got it like from my car symbols. I'm into Cadillacs. And, oh, so yeah, I, 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 I get it. Kind of, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see that feathery wing kind of looking thing. So yeah. It kind of gave me the vision to start off. I'm like, ah. Uh, I'm not gonna. I can't mess with Cadillac sign, but at right. least I can take some. Then I just went from there. I started yeah. taking this off, taking that off. I have to say, you guys do look good because uh, it's very. Uh, it, it has that. It fits the name, you know. It's very prestigious, and I think that you know, just being here at your office and everything. Oh, we are live on location. <laughs> we are. We are live, live on location. location. Um, it, it looks very good. I think it does match. It fits the. Oh, yeah, thank I think you. it does. Oh, I really do. I really yeah. do. Um, I'm interested because we are. The office is here on the corner of Lake and what's that spring? Lake and uh, West Park. West Park. Lake and West Park. Um, here in this little location, there's a lot of businesses on the stretch yes, sure. that a lot of people don't know about right yes. when yeah. you mentioned across the street from uh we're talking the phone. Aurora Punky House. yeah yes. when you were, i was picturing like where, where is, everyone does the same yeah because there's yes. a i was like what, what? <laughs> yeah what did i what did i miss what did i miss yeah, yeah. very so, cool yeah uh, how long you guys been here actually we've been almost here a year now about a year now okay in this location so very cool yeah nice um now the client you have clients in the west side over here and everywhere yes. yeah um, what's a typical day like presidential? What time do you guys get here? Get started. Well, I'm the one who is in charge of the uh, cleaning services. Well, and lady. He, he's the one in charge of the roadside service. Okay, all right. So um, he's not a morning person. Ah, so I, I have see. to tell oh, that. Right. <laughs> so we, our, our, our days actually start early. I mean, mine is is funny because I'll I'll be coming in and she'll be getting up. Right. And so. My day like seems like it don't finish. It's just mm -hmm. oh, so I'll I'll be up with her and then we come to come to, we get ready, get the kids all together and make sure they're good for school. And then as um, long as they're good, we come on down to the office and we just start doing you know right. making calls, whatever we need to do, situating our supplies, making sure we got everything we need. Um, and then just you know cleaning up, around, tidying up around here on the computer. All right. Billing, what, whatever we gotta do. How many employees do you guys have? For the about, for the cleaning company, we have yeah. four. Five, five. 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 And then for the roadside. Oh, well, eight of these guys. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. Um, what's the biggest impact COVID has had on the business? Uh, like I said, it's it's made us clean even more. So, um, we. We've had to go and double back on cleaning sometimes. So people want more cleaning now. Right. So it's, it's helped out a lot uh, for us, I'll say. Not, unfortunately, not for everyone, but um, due to the situation. But it's we, we've been cleaning a lot more than often. So. Um, we're in 2021. What do you guys see for yourselves in presidential cleaning in 2021 um we look into actually uh keep growing building and uh actually probably move out of this office and get another bigger one open up more and just uh growing with more employees also 
to help us out because we're only two people and we can only do so much, man. Right. It's like sometimes we we feel like we're just, you know, in circles because, you know, we got so much going on mm -hmm. and it's hard to, you know, it's hard to be everywhere in, at one time. We, you know, like I said, we're, 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 she's one person, I'm one person. Right. And, uh, you know, everyone needs our attention, you know what I mean? The employees, the kids. Yeah, you know, all the customers, potential clients, everything. So right. we gotta be so many places. So looking at this expanding, um, getting a bigger building, getting more people to help, and uh, going out different areas also. You know, we we like got pretty much good clientele in the rural areas. So we're looking to expand, Keep expand. Even more. Yeah. yeah so. Get King County locked up. King County locked down. <laughs> <laughs> Shout outs to uh, Batavia, all that Geneva, Elgin, St. Charles, North Aurora, all of it. Um, so, what is the so before before we get to the uh, the final part, uh, the last little bit? I do want to ask: Is there advice that you would give to an up and coming business owner? or someone looking to start their own business and uh, begin? Um, yes, you have to be, um, how do you say it, persevering? Yeah, perseverance. Persever persever yeah. Yeah. Yes, you have to be very perseverant. Right. And, um, I mean, you're gonna find ups and downs, for sure. Oh yeah. But um, it's very, it's, it's gonna be worth it at the end. It's gonna be worth it. So if you have um, this business vision, mm -hmm. uh, go ahead, go ahead. It's going to be worth it. How can people contact President Trequinia? Man, <laughs> so, so, social media, <laughs> Facebook, we President have... Cleaning Services. Okay. Uh, our website, we got a number, 630-618-2165. What's the website? Uh, PresidentialCleaningServices.com. Okay. Uh, you got Instagram? We no. do. <laughs> we <Okay>. do, but... <laughs> barely post them. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got to get... You got to get stuff out of time. We have to right set now. it out with that. <laughs> I'm going to need to... Yeah. Yes. Because yeah. yeah. we're going to share Instagram. Yeah. yeah. Instagram. Yeah. Uh, Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very old school, so... Oh, yeah. Well, well, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's a good thing, though. Yeah. Because, you know, forget Instagram and Twitter. The natural and time-tested business methods are what matter the most yeah. irregardless of social media. You can have the prettiest Instagram with the most followers in the world. If you don't got customer service, if you're not on time, if you don't have the basics of professionalism, right. they don't matter what you got. There you go. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I mean, um, and you guys, but you guys know that. And that's why I'm glad to, you know, that's why I'm, you know, Good Morning Aurora is happy to Talk to people up, on the yeah. uprise and doing that the right way with the yeah. business. I think that's really good. You gotta keep that original oh, foundation. You got yeah. to, yeah, you gotta have it. Um, so the show ends on a positive note, okay? What is the message for the people of Aurora going into this Monday? Here we are, 2021. What's the message? And, uh, say, we say, we, 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 we're good with goals. We make, don't be afraid to make your goals and go for them, you know. Um, you, like she said, you'll go through the negativity and all that, people mm -hmm. against you, family, friends, all that, you can't do it. Right. You just have to go for it, do it, do it. It's, you, you can't, you can't lose, you know, you, the, the word, the thing that I say all the time is that if you don't try, you will, you know, it, that's, that's bigger than, that's 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 more harsh than trying, trying and failing. Right. You know what I mean. So, if you don't even try, it's just you get you just give up. Right. You know what I mean. It's, it's, it doesn't make any sense. So, at least try, try, go for your goals, and you never know. You know what'll happen. Exactly. That's, so yeah, that's the same thing that happened with us with this business. We we didn't. We I never see myself in cleaning. You know, we we just we had friends that were doing it. We liked it, we tried it, and here we go. You know what I mean? So There it just, is. There it is. Just make them go. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. 
I talked to a friend of mine not too long ago. They contacted me, and she was like, "I see your show's doing good." I was like, uh, "I was like, yeah, thank you." And like when I started the show, she was hitting me up like, "They're hiring at Pet Boys. I can get you a job." I was oh, like, "No, nah, I, I know what I'm doing." Good, good. <laughs> good. <laughs> Here we are. There we are. Yes. Boom! You know, yes. Look at that. And 2021 oh. is uh, going to be a, a blessed and a strong year for everybody. Yeah. So we, as a show. We wish you guys the absolute best success in 2021. Thank you. So we hope y'all keep it, you know, keep up the good work. Thank you. And Thank we'll be so glad much. to share anything that you guys got. Um, I'll give you the email address after this. Okay. If you got some news or some hey posters or whatever specials or whatever, then we'll nice. we'll get it up there for you. Nice. Um, so you. on behalf of the second largest city's first daily news podcast, we are honored to have had Karina and Darnell. Sure. Presidential cleaning services. If your office is not squared away, if your house is dirty, we we here for you. You know, get yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Clean that Tupperware <laughs> up. Make it look good. Step it up. <laughs> you got to look good in twenty twenty one. So you guys have a blessed, strong, positive day, and we'll see you guys back here tomorrow morning. Peace. Good morning. Thank Very you. Much.